Hey guys, Bing here. I'm um, previously at day 140 and 141, we created a aligned based family. So that's a multi panel family. And today we're going to uh, create another one, uh, very similar, but uh, um, we're going to model it as a generic model adaptive. Okay, so open. And first, place two point and then select these two points make adaptive and create a spline and then make it reference okay so now create a form so now select this face this face and you will see that's a positive offset and that will be the height okay so click here and create a height but i'll call it h okay so now Click on Devoid Surface, and here U Grid, change it to Now. And for the V Grid, this will be the um, width of the panel. So I'm going to change it to Fixed Distance. And also I'll type in uh, 1200 for now, and also create a parameter. I'll call it W1. So W1 will be the typical width of the panel. And I'll use Instance. And OK. So and I'll course you will see um, there's a little panel on each side I'm going to change the justification from center to beginning so the full width panel start from point one and we will finish this family uh, with a smaller one okay so <clears throat> now if I change this pattern from no pattern to a rectangle so you will see there's a line here so uh, which I'm not sure why. Um, if I change to overhand, so you will see that's one, two, three, three panel here. So which is not right. Okay. So and also um, I'm I'll cre I'll give this because for now there's no thickness. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a family. So this will be the curtain panel pattern based family, and we're just going to create a form with this solid and also here positive offset this will be the thickness I'm going to create a thickness parameter I'll call it th so ok and ok and also I'm going to change it to 50 for example and ok so also you can create a material for this as well so OK and OK. So now load this family into the other family and then select this uh, divided surface and change it to the one we just did. So and you can see there's still one, two, three, three panel here. So if I change it to partial, so we see the cut part of those three panel, but still not matching the not matching the you know the size and uh, that's quite funny i don't know why so what we can do is we can just change this to empty and we're going to create another family here and place it here okay so i'm going to place a oh, sorry i'll create a generic model adaptive So for this one, we're going to place two points as well and make adaptive, spline, reference line. And also we're going to place another two point join work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan with the point one, place it here and set, pick the horizontal work plan and place on point two. So select this point, drag it up and select this one, drag up. Select these two points. So here, offset. We're going to play, uh, create a. So this will be the width. Okay. So width of the last panel. So I'll call it W two. And also I'll use instance. Then OK. So now select these two points. Create a spline and a reference line. Create a spline reference line and create a spline and make it reference line. No. Now select for or for reference line and create a form and select this solid and then we can create this uh, positive offset I'll change it to 50 oh sorry wrong one 50 and then create a thickness so this will be the thickness 
as well. So thickness of an OK. So now I'm also going to create a material parameter code. And OK, and OK. So now load this family and place it at, you know, from top. So I just need to find this point and also point two. So select this uh, family. So we can change the width for number 400. Yep. But now we just need to um, do some calculation or not cal calculation, some formula for this width. Okay, so let's do it. So go to family types. So first we're going to get a number. Okay, so create a new parameter. I'll call it um, number and change this to integer and instance and OK. So the number, um, oh sorry, the, the formula, we will need a reporting parameter. So the overall length of this family for that formula. So we're, let's do it. So before that, I'm going to select this point, one point, the reference line as well as this point one and H I. So I want to make sure my dimensions are placed onto the point. So it's easier to isolate. Um, so hide everything. So except these three elements. Okay, so first set work plan, pick the uh, reference line and then DI dimension. Make sure you pick the point. Okay, and also this point. So now this dimension, I'm going to create a reporting parameter. I'll call it L length and instance and the reporting and OK. So now HR, turn the back, uh, turn the uh, panels back and then edit, go to family types. So now we can create this uh, formula for the number. The so number will be uh, round down um, overall length L divided by um, width bracket. So now we can see the number is 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, correct. And then we need to calculate the width of this panel. Okay, so first I'm going to select this panel. So see with, uh, with, uh, with 2, I'm going to create a new parameter in this family. So with 2 as well, instance, OK and OK. And then go to family types. So with 2 equals, um, with two equals uh, overall length minus bracket number times w1 bracket. So apply. So you will see the width of this panel will match the gap between the panel and the point. Okay. So now let me go to floor plan and I'm going to just. Uh, mm, show you so currently the uh, typical width w1 is 1200 so if i change this overall length to um, maybe 4800 and you will notice there's a little warning here see uh, this is um, because the last panel the width of last panel because uh, becomes uh, zero which is you know not valid you can't have a solid with um, zero uh, width so to avoid the warning uh, I'm going to control let's control Z go back and then go to family type we, what we need to do is here W2 to make sure this one won't uh, become zero so I'm going to select control C and then Add a if condition. So if this if this uh, formula equals zero, I'll just give it number. It will become ten. Otherwise, it will uh, uh, still use this formula. So now, if I click, oh sorry, a bracket. Now, if I change if I change this overall width to forty eight hundred again. So you won't see that width. And if you zoom in, you will see the panel become 10. And because we don't want to see um, the last panel when you know the um, we only need the typical width panel, so 
what I'm going to do is create a new visibility parameter. So I'll call it um, last 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 panel this and instance OK and OK. So I'll go back to family types. So I'll just use last panel this. So I'll use not bracket not bracket that control V equals zero bracket. So this way, when uh, you, you can still see it here because this is a family in, in the family um, editor. So if you use here, so if you turn on the uh, preview visibility, you will see you won't, uh, it's, it's, it's invisible now. And if I, if I change the, um, uh, where's the point? Uh, hang on, let me just change this back to uh, turned off. So if I just change the um, 4900, so you will see it come back. Okay, turned on. So see it's still there. But yeah. So if you if you um, if 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 you change the width, so and this one, this this panels actually. So you can see here. So it's gray out the visible visible parameter. It's 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 unchecked. So in the project, when you load this family, you won't see this last last panel. Okay. So now it's pretty much done. This family um, works the exact the same with uh, as to the to the the line based family. And you can you what you can do is you can change the height so maybe 2400 you can change the height you can change the uh, length and you can change the typical width okay and so I'll sh I'll show you uh, I'll just create a project and uh, have a test and go to uh, and load this into the project. So, okay, so, and you can just use tab to click on the point and you can adjust it. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.